All right, before we put the head back on the cylinder, the block here, the head's going to go here. This is my engine mount on the uh, right side. All these mounts that I have, uh, the rubber inside's busted, so I'm going to replace them. I went ahead and figured since I'm changing, you know, doing everything, do it right. So they say that the holes that these bolts are in, are oversized so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up all around here get it cleaned real good and then I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna outline where the mount is actually sitting and then that way I put it back in the right position and I'm not uh, just guessing at it so I'll clean this off real good, mark it, then I'll take this off and put the new one and I also have the strut here, we'll change that and the lower, the lower strut support, we'll change that one also. So let me get a marker, we'll mark it and I'll let you know what size bolts we need to take that out. Okay, 13 millimeter one two three and then one down here four i've got me a line marking my position back there also got me a line right on the edge and uh that way i can position it correctly see how bad this one is rubber's all cracked it's just being held in there from pressure it's not actually attached or anything so We'll change that out. All right, we've got the bolts out of the engine mount. It slides right out like that. Here's how it looks. Let me show you what this one looks like compared to the new one. There's the old one. Let's see. Well. Wow. Look, see how it's all cracked through here? That line that you see above my thumb that goes all through there. It just see, dry rotted back here and stuff. It just wore out. And then the new one. This particular piece right here, uh, it was like $58. I was kind of surprised, but. There's the new one, right beside it. Nice new rubber in there. That one just beat up. See, look at the difference from here to here. See how compressed it is. Then on this one, look how much room it's got. So that's a big difference. I'm gonna put this in. Uh, According to my marks, and when I tighten it up, I will let you know what torque specifications it is supposed to go to. Alright, 13 millimeter bolts needs to be 87 foot pounds of torque. It didn't snap, but I do them each a little bit. I'm not just going to tighten one down, let it uh, get to torque, and then do the others. Uh -oh. A little bit tight in the back. Alright. I'm going to lower the engine down to get the alternator out of the way a little bit. And then uh, I'll torque them down 87 foot-pounds. And then the right side engine mount will be installed.